The relatively narrow mouths of bathroom sink and tub drains often cause plumbing problems. If you leave them completely open, they rarely clog, but inevitably something important, like a ring, will fall in. The constant flow of hair into the drain requires routine maintenance, and the occasional debris that drain cleaner can't dissolve can be removed only by dismantling the plumbing. But nearly any guard you put into the drain to prevent this quickly becomes clogged, often requiring constant cleaning. The most common guard is a cup like this one. I just cleaned this, yet even pure water with no soap or debris does not flow smoothly through it. The turbulence you see is water that is not going where it's supposed to, but is instead bouncing around in the cup. Further, it is interfering with water that might have otherwise made a clean exit. The water is already starting to back up, and if some hair falls into the cup, the flow nearly stops. When all the water finally drains away, you then have to fish around in the cup to pull out all the gooey debris to get a head start on the next use. A plate guard covering the top of the drain, like this one, avoids some of the problems of a cup. It has a larger drain surface, it doesn't have walls to cause turbulence, and you can easily pick up the debris. But it isn't perfect. Debris, particularly soapy hair, collects at the edges and blocks the flow. This debris tends to get stuck under the edges, complicating cleaning. Also, despite the larger total hole area and reduced turbulence, even before the onset of edge clogging, it doesn't drain much faster than the cup. The holes don't seem to be working as well as we would expect, but what could be better than a hole for drainage? Although water seems to find a path through anything that isn't tightly sealed, it is actually fussy about where and when it will flow. For example, I put a warm casserole in my refrigerator, and water evaporating from it has condensed on the underside of the lid. There is no barrier preventing these drops from falling, but they hang on anyway. Yet when I turn the lid on its side, the drops roll down. This strange behavior results from two forces. Van der Waals forces cause water molecules at the surface of the plastic to stick to it. Hydrogen bonding causes all of the molecules in a drop to cling together. There are no van der Waals forces between water and air, and gravity alone is not strong enough to break the plastic and water bonds. But turning the lid on its side provides a plastic path in the same direction as the pull of gravity. Without its van der Waals ally, the hydrogen-bonded drop can't resist the force of gravity. So how does this relate to the drain, where water is not static but flowing rapidly? The water is turbulent, and much of the flow is across the surface of the holes rather than straight down into them. The water clings to itself, jumping over the air gap, just as the drops on the underside of the lid can ignore gravity. A drain guard comprising vertical tubes instead of holes would have the same effect as turning the lid on its side to give the water a downward path to cling to. Such a drain guard is easy to make for practically no cost from the corrugated plastic used for lawn signs. The raw material is readily available, but only in large quantities. However, most neighborhoods are washing irrelevant signs after an election, and real estate loan sharks are always putting these up where no one wants them. So there are plenty of free sources. The drain guard is made by cutting a strip of the material and rolling it into a cylinder with axial tubes. Most of the tubes will be distorted and crushed by rolling, but this won't affect their function unless they close completely. The starting size depends on the drain size. My bathroom sink drain has a one and a quarter inch diameter, and the distance between the rim and the crossbars below is two inches. The strip width of two inches is obvious because I want the top of the guard level with the rim. With some experimenting, I found that a six and a half inch long strip rolls into an ideal cylinder. The debris-free water flow that quickly began backing up with the drain cup experiences no backup with this guard. If I block it with hair, there is some backup, but much less than with the cup, and free-flowing drainage is restored as soon as I remove the hair, which is easy to do even with the water running.